Today I'm going to make a follow-up video on my video about why power is distributed in three phases because I've come across some information that I need to add to that. I'm probably going to have to remake the video, but I'll just make this uh, supplement or maybe one or two more in the meantime. First of all, I am not trained as an electrician. I'm also not trained as an electrical engineer, so everything I have is only what I've been able to glean reading uh, information off the internet, some from good sources, some from dubious sources and uh, my own experiences. So what has come up is that some sources say that the normal way to distribute power to residences in the United States and the Canada is single phase or split phase, uh, which I'll explain what that is in a moment. Other sources say that's rather rare and the usual way is two phase. So what's the truth? Well, I'm going to have to do more research to find out the truth because I'm getting conflicting information, but I can tell you my personal experience. Uh, not too many years ago, I lived in a house where we had a power issue, and in the process of troubleshooting that, I ended up measuring the power on the rails uh, in the breaker box. So there's the neutral, and there's the two hots. So hot, neutral, hot. And I measured between here and here, I measured 117 volts. And between here and here, I measured 117 volts. But between the two of them, I measured 200 and four volts. And knowing that this is the standard in uh, the area I live in, 117 volts, that's uh, standard in a number of areas. They call it 110 or 120. It's actually can be anywhere from 110 to 126 volts, I think, and still be within standards. Different power companies have different uh, numbers. They put out different amounts of voltage they put on the lines. In my area, it's 117. So uh, that did not surprise me because what I would expect normally would be 120 volts between here in the neutral and there in the neutral and 208 volts there. That would be two phase, which I explained in the previous video. I'm not going to go into details on that at the moment. However, I've been being told that no, that's not the norm. Normally you're going to have your two hots in a neutral and these are not two phase, but it's single phase or split phase, where that's coming off of a transformer. I'll just draw the transformer secondary here, and the neutral is coming off the middle. So what we're getting is 120 volts off one winding, 120 volts off the other winding, and we expect between the two, 240 volts. So what is the norm? Well, I went to my old neighborhood and took this picture, and you can see something rather interesting. Coming up from the ground is two connections. One goes to the lower wires, and one goes to the higher wires. And if I trace down the higher wires, they go down the street to a transformer and go down to a split phase distribution line to most of the houses on the street. But the lower one is two phase, and that only goes to three or four houses, mine being one of those. So in the same neighborhood, Many houses are being fed with the split phase. Mine was being fed with the two phase. So go figure. I also, when traveling through Utah recently, I just happened to look up at some power lines and I noticed that one neighborhood was being fed with one wire. So here's our three phase wires and I'll throw the neutral in over here. And going off to the neighborhood was one neutral and one phase. That went to a transformer to step it down, but came off three wires being a split phase. That's Kind of like two to one split phase to two phase. So some places it's two phase, some places it's split phase. And I don't know which is really more common because I'm getting conflicting information. So I just wanted to clarify that. So some places will get the two phase, in which case you would have 120 between the hot and the neutral, but only 208 between the other two because of the 120 degree phase difference that I explained in the other video. But when you get the split phase or the single phase, you're going to have uh, just single phase power with a neutral coming down the middle. Of course, this is going to be grounded somewhere to make that uh, work as it should. And so now we have 120, 120, or 240, or in the case of my area, that'd be 117, 117, and 236. Or did the math wrong. I can't do math in my head to save my life. But uh, you would have twice the voltage across the two rails that you do uh, on the, from the hot to the neutral. So 
Uh, North America, that's the way power is distributed here. As far as the rest of the world, I don't know much about that because I've been here all my life and this is what I'm uh, experiencing here. So I just wanted to make that follow up and say that you might get your split phase, in which case you do get a full 240 across the two wires, or two phase where you get only a lower voltage across the two because of the phase difference. If you found this video useful and informative, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps the channel. And subscribe because that not only informs you when I put new videos up, but it really helps the channel also. And a big thank you to my patrons at Patreon. I could not make these videos without your support. If you want to help me put these videos online and keep real vocational education free at vocademy.net, you can go to Patreon slash join slash vocademy and pledge your support. And again, a big thank you to my patrons who make this possible, and a big thank you to everyone for watching.